Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Smells Like Vin here, and um, I've been looking a lot on YouTube, um, videos of like album reviews and just a lot of music opinions on YouTube, and uh, it got me thinking I would really like to do one of these, you know, album reviews. I've always kind of wanted to, I was just always too lazy, and I always talk about like albums with my friends and stuff, so I figured it'd be really cool to voice my opinions on YouTube, because... I'm not into the whole going on a website and writing a review. It's 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 boring. I can get just as much out on video um, that I can, you know, doing a big novel. You know, I already do enough essays at school, so I don't need to do another one based off an album. Um, so the album I'm gonna review today is Korn's second album, Life Is Peachy. Now in uh, today's modern society. <laughs> We don't, uh, no one really uses CDs anymore. Um, so I don't have the CD with me, but I know all the tracks off the album, and, you know, I know the album um, just as good as anyone else who would actually have the CD. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, I didn't know whether to do a track by track analysis, or just, you know, what I thought of the album. I'm gonna do what I thought of the album because. It, I think it would take the fun out of your enjoyment of just hearing me just riddle off like each you know, track. It's not really fun for me either. So, um, the first Korn album was great. It was just new metal perfection. Um, a lot of great tracks like Blind and Clown and all that. And they really made a name for themselves. You know, they became pretty popular on that one album. And so the second album was very anticipated. Um, so Life is Peachy came out in 1996. Yeah, 1996. Um, and it is a great album. Better than the first, I think. It's really hard, but yeah, better than the first, I think. Um, I think the thing that sets this album apart is because there's a lot of humor on it. And I'm sure if you're not really a huge fan of corn, you're like, corn humor, you know what I mean? It works out great. Because it mixes kind of like, dare I say, angsty lyrics with funny lyrics. And it's just like a, it's one of a kind, this album. So, um, yeah. A couple tracks that showcase this. Twist. Twist is the first song, and if, um... Well, it's like an intro, basically. It's not really a full song, it's like an intro. If any of you, who I'm sure a lot have, um, have heard Freak on a Leash, it's probably Korn's most popular song. During the bridge, he does this weird, like, growling, scatting thing. Twist is basically one minute of that. Really cool. He just, um... He just, like, growls, and, like, the instruments are all crazy, and there's this crazy tom beat going, and it's just, it's funny, but it's easy to get into. It's really cool. Another track, which is, might, some people might think it's overrated, but it's one of my favorite corn tracks of all time, one of my favorite songs of all time, is Adidas. And if you know the lead singer of corn, Jonathan Davis, he always wears, like, Adidas sweatsuits and, and all that. And so... It's an anagram for all day I dream about sex. Funniest. It's funny. But at the same time, it's relatable. But at the same time, it's it's a really catchy chorus. And it's like heavy at some parts. It's just this big mesh of like funny and, 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 and heaviness. And it's just great. Awesome. Uh, now, the last song on Korn's first album was called Daddy. <clears throat> and it was about, um, Jonathan's life when he was younger and he got raped. And it's a very dark, dark song. And the last song on Life is Peachy is kind of like a sequel, but it's not about the same thing. And it's a lot less disturbing. Uh, it's called Kill You. <laughs> yeah, and, um, it's about Jonathan Davis' stepmom. And it's a emotional, amazing song, and it blew me away the first time I heard it, um, 
it, it, there's a video on YouTube if you guys want to look for it. I, I might put the link, probably not because I'm lazy. But you could just look up, um, Corn Recording Kill You. And, um, it's, it's them, or just Dr. Davis singing it and recording it. And he brings the whole band to tears. I'm not even kidding. It's crazy that his, uh, you know, his singing has effect on the band, and it kind of represents the effect it's had on everyone else and Korn fans. So, um, yeah, it's a really, really great song. What are some other really good songs? Let, let me talk about the songs that aren't so great. Um, Lost. That's kind of a subpar song. It's the third song. Third song? Yeah, third song. It's not bad. No, no song on the album is bad. It's just kind of okay. I don't really listen to it much. Uh, what other ones I just kind of thought were okay? That's it. Like, really. There's, like, 13 awesome <clears throat> tracks and, like, one okay track. But it's still good, you know? Um, No Place to Hide is an amazing song. It's about kind of how the pressure of becoming more popular was tough for him, Jonathan Davis. But at the same time... He likes it. The lyric goes, I have no place to run, so come on, follow me. But then it goes, which I like. So it's kind of like, let's say, if, you know, and if you ever became famous, you wouldn't like that pressure. But, you know, you're famous, so you like it. It's, it's really a really interesting thing to write about, and it's cool. Good God is another great one. Uh, I think everyone remembers that because the crazy bridge, it's just Jonathan Davis screaming, would you get the bleep out of my face, like, I think like ten times, I think. Um, but that's another thing I like about this album and many other Korn albums, every other Korn album, is that it's angry, yet the lyrics are intelligent enough to kind of carry it. You know what I mean? It's not stupidly angry, if that makes any sense. Um, and another thing is everyone stepped it up on this album. Every member just was better. Jonathan's vocals were better. David's drumming is awesome on this album. Probably the best album I think he's drummed on. He's one of my favorite drummers. I'm a drummer in a band, so I love hearing his uh, drumming because he does so much tom, like good tom work, instead of just doing the classic hi-hat, you know, bass, beat, you know, snare, which is fine, obviously. That's what the base of basically every rock or metal song is. He uses so much time, like, do, 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 and it just adds this element and really carries the song, and, and it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> another thing I love is Fieldy's bass. I was watching a review, and the guy who was reviewing it says, Oh, one thing that bothers me is the annoying bass. Really? The annoying bass? I mean, Fieldy isn't the best bassist ever, but he's a kick-ass bassist, probably my favorite bassist, just because his sound is so unique, and without it, Korn wouldn't be Korn, it's, it's, that's undeniable, but uh, he does some great work on this album, like the, um, the bass line in, um, man, uh, Adidas, the bass line just, it just, that and the Tom drum beat just makes that song what it is, I think. You know, aside from the crazy lyrics. Uh, and then Head and Monkey, too, the two guitarists, really did great, too. I mean, they introduced kind of their style. Like, in the first Korn album, it was really unique, but it it didn't really set the stage for all the other albums, like Life is Peachy did, in my opinion. For example, in one of the songs, it goes... Do, 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 and that like weird like scratching noise that they do and they do that all the time and it's kind of like a corn what's the word I'm thinking of like a corn not a corn stereotype but like a corn trademark that's the word I was looking for trademark um that you know they always use in their albums now let's talk about I'm gonna have to make a part two because we have oh wait that's right I love YouTube's new 15-minute uh, video, like, thing, because it used to be 10, and right now, 
I wouldn't have been able to upload it, but uh, now that I have five extra minutes, I'm just gonna take another like one to just explain something. The mixing and the the production, it's fine. It's it's cool because nothing is overpowered. You know, John's vocals uh, with a lot of albums. I was watching an album review and he was talking about the mix and he's he, what he was saying was kind of true. And a lot of albums, it's like here's the instruments. And that's exactly what he did. He went like that. He's like, that, all right, and there's the vocals. And it's true. Korn never has that problem. Uh, the vocals and instruments are perfectly mixed. Um, it has very, like, a raw feeling. And it still kept the underground Korn vibe. Now, Korn is huge now. And that doesn't bother me at all because they're one of the best bands of the last decade, in my opinion. But it kept the kind of small, you know fan base of corn. It was growing, but it was too small. And I, of course, follow the video, just threw that out the window at Freak on a Leash and Got the Life and, you know, all that. So, how much I like this album? Love this album. What a, it's, it's one of those albums that if someone asks you who's corn, you go, here you go, and you hand them, you know, you hand them that album because it's, it's iconic, you know what I mean, for that band. Um, it's just a, a great album. I love it. I listen to it all the time. Top three tracks would be... Now, this isn't in any order. One isn't my favorite track off the whole album, because I love all the album, all the tracks. But um, in no particular order, these are my three favorites. Adidas, Asich, and it's either a tie between Kill You or... I really can't pick. I can't really do three. I guess my, my two favorites would probably be Adidas and uh, Asich. But, whatever. Um, this album is great. Uh, I'd give it a 10 by far one of the best corn albums. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. It was my first. It's a little long. I'm sorry. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like watching long reviews. A lot, but yeah, you know, I did my best. It was my first review. So, comment, wait. I've had YouTube accounts before, and a lot of people subscribed, but no one commented. It's like I need feedback, so I would appreciate it if you guys, you know, gave me. I, I'm not even fishing for compliments, just give me suggestions on how to make them better, and uh. I find some. I plan on doing a lot more of these, and uh, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.